Anybody visiting Dubrovnik should be sure to explore every nook of the city's world-famous walls and old town. Since Game of Thrones showcased the city's fabulous architecture, visitors have flocked to Dubrovnik to see King's Landing, Parth, and the Gardens of the Red Keep in real life. You can walk along the top of the city's walls and climb the perimeter towers or duck down to the evocative streets of the old town to check out the churches, monasteries, and curious monuments of the old town, each with a compelling story to tell. Welcome to Things to Do channel, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell to be updated on our latest videos. Let's see 10 things to do in Dubrovnik. Marvel the City Walls Dubrovnik's imperious walls are one of the things that qualify the city for UNESCO listing, and if you watch Game of Thrones, you'll recognize several locations. These white limestone defenses go back to the 600s. But their current form dates back to 15th century, when the fall of Constantinople was all the warning Dubrovnik's officials needed that the Ottomans were on their way. It will take an hour or so to make the full circuit along the battlements, stopping for supreme panoramas of the city backed by the Adriatic. Guided tours will give you extra snippets of info, but it is also a good idea to set off early to beat the crowds. Stroll around the infamous Old Town at times, the twisting streets of Dubrovnik's old town will feel like a movie set, and you'll find you can work up a big appetite if you let your curiosity guide you down all the little alleyways here. You can get your bearings on Plaka, which is old Dubrovnik's main street, a straight and broad limestone channel beneath grand old houses. As you walk, you'll notice that nearly all of these buildings share the same floor plan, and that's because of a citywide decree on building designs following an earthquake and fire in the 17th century. On St. Blaise's Day, the 3rd of February, there's a procession along Plaka in honor of Dubrovnik's patron saint. Ride the cable car Undoubtedly, the best view of Dubrovnik can be had from the crest of Mount Serd, which looms 412 meters above the city a short way inland. In 1969, they built a cable car serving the summit, operating until midnight during the peak summer months. By day, you'll never forget the vistas of Dubrovnik's towers and walls, the big clay tiles of the city's houses, and the evergreen offshore island against the cobalt Adriatic. At night, you can gaze out to the west to see the sun setting behind the city. Visit Dubrovnik Cathedral The city's cathedral is one of Dubrovnik's large ensembles of Baroque architecture. Among the many reasons to pay this seat of the diocese a visit to see the interior's artworks. On the main altar, there's a triptych of Ascension of Mary by the Renaissance painter Titian from 1550. On the church's side altars are several other impressive works by Croatian and Italian artists from the same era. In the treasury is a wealth of precious liturgical items dating from the 1000s to the 1700s, including the gold-plated bones of St. Blaise. Explore the Rienok Fort Guarding a tall spur 40 meters above the sea is one of Dubrovnik's picture book defensive installations. The Vrianak earned its place in the city's folklore during the long period of tussles with the Venetians. The invaders had attempted to build an outpost here as part of their campaign to take the city. But the locals beat them to it, erecting this fortress in just three months at the start of the 11th century. If you're in time for the summertime festival of Dubrovnik, be sure to catch the performance of Hamlet that takes place at this majestic venue. See St. John Fortress Part of the city wall, St. John Fortress is on the southeastern side of the defenses, protecting Dubrovnik's port. For hundreds of years, Dubrovnik was vulnerable to pirate raids, so they came up with a smart deterrent. When the warning was sent out, they'd lift a heavy metal chain that ran from this fortress to the case jetty in the port to damage ships. If you pop inside the tower, you can visit a small aquarium on the first floor and then head upstairs to browse the Maritime Museum. Be amazed of Lockroom Island You can catch a ferry from the port to this island opposite Dubrovnik throughout the day. It will take 10 minutes to get there and it is a swift way to escape the crowds and take a breather. The island is covered almost entirely with deep green pine forest that you can amble through via walking trails. These walking routes also lead to the coast, 
where you'll come across rocky coves with waters ideal for swimming, and even families of peacocks brought to the island by Maximilian, the 19th century Austrian Archduke. Check out Tercino Arboretum, this lovely park on the hillside next to the sea from the 1400s, making it one of the region's oldest arboretums. Dubrovnik's role as a center of trade furnished the arboretum with tree species from around the world. Take the imperious pair of oriental plane trees here, half a millennium old and unique within Europe. The arboretum is part of an estate from the same period and is a memorable place for a walk thanks to its sculptures and fountains, and the aqueduct designed to irrigate the park. This was also the shooting location for the Red Keep Gardens for Game of Thrones in the third and fourth seasons. The Beaches Few of the beaches on the sweep of the Adriatic are sandy. Their attraction lies in the aquamarine waters that lap the shore and the pine forest or historic architecture that form the backdrop. Lapid Beach is one of the most tourist-friendly places to unwind by the Adriatic Sea. There's a pedestrian zone just behind the beach with bars and restaurants. While this gently arsing bay has a moderately wide beach with white pebbles. Further around the bay, you can also enter the sea for a swim from the rocks. Go sailing and sea kayaking. Lockroom Island is just the tip of the iceberg, as a whole world of islands awaits for you off the coast of Dubrovnik, starting with the pristine nature reserves of the Elephite Archipelago. A bunch of charter agencies are located at the marina should you want to hire a motorboat for the day or wait anchor on a serious sailing trip. For something closer, you would like to take a sea kayak tour to see Dubrovnik's walls and towers in a different way.